live far away from the city in the deep forest, where there are few people but it is very suitable for the animals. There is plenty of sunshine and the right amount of precipitation, which makes many animals live there. Predators love it because of the richness of its species. Wolves also lived there, but something unexpected happened. The wild wolf who was supposed to live deep in the forest unexpectedly showed up in a crowded city hospital. Just when the people were afraid, they noticed that the wild wolf did not act aggressively, which made them curious. At the time, they didn't know why the wild wolf had taken the risk to come to the city's hospital. This happened in a hospital in Siberia, which is a famous hospital and can provide effective and complete treatment for patients. The day before, the sun had shone warm on the patient in this room. The patient was in remission, and as the weather was fine that day, he was allowed by the doctor to go out for a walk. The patient felt cheerful, thanks to his gradual recovery and the warmth of the sun. At that time, the hospital was built in the city but had a path to the forest to provide patients with plenty of room to move around and a good environment. While the patient was taking a light walk, he was surprised to see that everyone else came back quickly and in a panic. At that time, they trembled and said hurry back, it was a wild wolf. However, this aroused the man's curiosity, for he had never seen a wild wolf anywhere but the zoo. Driven by curiosity, he approached the path cautiously, but stopped in a hurry when he was still far from it. There really was a wild wolf at the end of the path. Then the scary wild wolf slowly followed the crowd toward the hospital gates, and there was a riot. The proximity of the wild wolf made more people see it. The men were frightened and rushed into the hospital, which startled more people. They heard something that made them scared and curious, and more people gathered around the window to get a good look at the wild wolf without risking their own safety. People were discussing the amazing scene and many people thought that the wild wolf was crazy. Otherwise how could it have come to the hospital? Some suggested they should contact the relevant authorities to deal with the matter, while others suggested they should alert nearby hunters as soon as possible. Just as they agreed that the wild wolf was a threat to their lives. Something unexpected happened. The wild wolf stopped before he could get out of the path and sat down slowly. As if to show its friendliness, it lowered its head. As time went by, the wild wolf did not take any action, but sat quietly on the path with its head down. People were shocked at the scene. At that point, an elderly paramedic watched quietly for a moment and then slowly and calmly walked up to the wild wolf. He calmly reassured those who tried to hold him up that everything was fine and he could fix it. Then he walked firmly close to the wild wolf and watched it carefully. Then he calmly returned to the crowd and told them that the wild wolf had come for help. He said the wild wolf was wounded in the forest, but could not save itself. He told the others not to worry and to keep quiet. And that he would soon be able to deal with the matter. As he was an experienced carer, people decided to believe him. Then the man went to a building. Soon after, he returned with a medical kit. At that point, he calmly approached the wild wolf and opened the medical kit to clean the its hair. At that time, the others were very nervous, but the wild wolf remained quiet and still. At that time, it remained relaxed to receive treatment from this paramedic. The man then snipped off the wild wolf's hair at the injured spot and proceeded to treat it. He used tweezers to remove debris from the wild wolf's wound, which inevitably caused the wild wolf pain. To their surprise, the wild wolf, always fierce, did not move or make a sound. After applying anti-inflammatory medicine to the wound, the man gathered his tools and stood up before walking to the hospital with his back to the wild wolf. Others were more worried, believing that one should not turn one's back to the fierce animal. 
They watched the wild wolf nervously. Just then, the wild wolf stood up and walked toward the man. Because the man had not used any anesthetic during the treatment, the wild wolf wobbled a little. Even so, it moved firmly toward the man. The wild wolf's behavior added to the panic of the onlookers, who were terrified. They had always believed that wolves were broken promises and ungrateful and unworthy of trust. However, after catching up with the man, the wild wolf fondly rubbed his pants and then walked off into the forest without any aggressive behavior. People stereotype that the wild wolf will hurt them even before they come into contact with it, but its subsequent behavior makes them feel that the wolves are grateful and remember their benefactor. In fact, people and creatures often have stereotypes about other creatures. I think it's possible that this wild wolf came to a human hospital after being injured because of human kindness to animals, and it's possible that this wild wolf's own people have received help from humans. There is nothing that cannot be changed. Humans will change their stereotypes of animals. And animals will change their attitudes toward humans. As long as we live peacefully with animals, then we can feel these changes. Before long, there will surely be a wonderful friendship between humans and